Hey folks, Todd Corsetti here. Today I'm going to combine my three favorite things, logs or wood, antlers and some leather. I want to make a uh, coffee cup holder as a gift, so I thought I'd run through that real quick. So I'm going to, I got a piece of juniper, uh, I've pulled all the loose bark off. I'm going to do a tenon connection with my hole saw, like I've shown in previous videos. And I got a juniper base, about five, maybe six inches. I've been lying length, about length a lot. <laughs> it's like five inches. Uh, I'm going to do a mortise hole with my adjustable wood drill bit uh, for the base. So let's do it. There you go. One thing I try to do it is so it sits up straight as aligned to that log as I can. Got the tenon cut or drilled. Okay. There's the tenon connection. Check. Got my adjustable drill wood drill bit. I'm going to just uh, set it up to be about the size diameter of that tenon. I'm going to do a test fit, make sure that that adjustable drill bit is set up at the right size. Hmm. That's about perfect <laughs> on the first shot. That doesn't always happen. Got my round. I'm going to do it. You gotta be careful, sometimes these will split. But you gotta go perpendicular, keep that straight so as much as you can. Alright. Mortise, tenon. If they're it's a little too tight, you want don't want it too tight, too loose, you just want it perfect. If it's too loose, you're kind of in trouble. Uh, if it's too tight, you can get a Dremel tool or some sandpaper, open that mortise a little bit, or even sand the tenon down a little bit. It's pretty snug. That should be pretty good. A little bit of wood glue on that, and we'll be ready to rock. If I can't even get it apart. <laughs> a little type on too, what I like. Slather a little bit of that on. It's going to be bulletproof. There you go. Again, I like the whole saw because, uh, you know, instead of that taper, you just got a nice fit. So, plus it's inexpensive. Next, I got my uh, DeWalt grinder set up with some 24 36 grit and uh, just round off the end any, any uh, knots that I want to flatten out I'll use the grinder too but mainly just for this piece I already got it ready I'm gonna grind that and down and around That's about it. Just wanted to round that off. I got my orbital sander set up with some 220 grit. I'm just going to run over it, get some of the loose bark off, smooth some of the edges. There you go. That's the base. So it's ready for some polyurethane. Um, just to clear polyurethane. I like satin. I've tried flat. I don't want it glossy, but I like satin. It just seems like about the right. A little bit of shine, but it's not bad. Let's take a look.
beautiful wood. People think it's junk wood, but it's beautiful wood. It's the next day, got the log base done, polyurethane's dry, ready to touch, attach the antlers. I'm going to use three two-point mule deer antlers. That's what I like to use for these. You could use uh, bigger antlers. You just have to see how they fit. Uh, this one, it's a little lighter than the other, so I'm going to use a little bit of stain, darken it up, try to get it to match, and then uh, attach them. So I'm going to use this dark walnut uh, stain to darken up that one antler. Seems to match them pretty well. One of the hooks for the coffee cup handles, so I'm going to position it and drill where I'm going to put a screw. But it's going to pull whatever, pull wherever I put that screw flat, so I got to make sure it's flat. So I drill through the antler and then into the wood so I know where I'm going to put it. So I have to drill the bigger bit, I have to uh, recess screw so it doesn't stick up. So the problem with these two antlers, they're a match set, is they got a lot of curve to them. So I gotta put it where I, I gotta put the screw hole where I push and it doesn't rotate it. I want the uh, antler button against the post, but if I do it up higher or up higher, it's gonna cause it to rotate. So I gotta do it about where my thumb okay number two am I thinking I might put two screws in this top one this because there's so much curvature into that. I don't want it rotating. So I'm just using a uh, one inch, one and a quarter inch screw. I decided to put another screw in that second antler. So there's two in the top, two in the middle, and one in the bottom. And I'm going to wrap it with leather so I have a uh, about a three foot piece of tanned elk hide that I'm going to put underneath. I got a little hole punched through it. I'm going to put it underneath this antler and then I'm going to wrap it back around so it'll go over the screw holes or the screws in each one. Let's give that a shot. Okay, I'll wrap it like that. Take it underneath this. That's it. So again, using that other method with recessed uh, screws, you could you fill them in with the drill shavings and some clear epoxy like I've shown in that other video. I like this for these little coffee cup holders because it kind of looks like, I like the texture. Mix of the leather and the antler and the wood. And it looks like it's just lashed to the log.
instead of screwed. Something like that. The other option is a Moscow Mule Copper Cup holder. Like that. In the shot glass. Got her done. There's the new one with some coffee cups on it. And the old one with some Moscow Mule copper cups. Yeah. Pretty simple. A couple hours. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful. Please like, comment, and especially subscribe. Your support of us is really appreciated. Thanks.